Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, whoa. We are enjoying our second decade of the show that has become a daily routine for thousands of listeners in great places like Daegu, South Korea, Daegu. Landstuhl, Germany, Mongo Chad. That sounds like it could be a DJ's name. Mongo Chad? It's the Mongo Chad Joe. By the way, the sweater working for you again, Rob. Thank you. Uh, and Scotland Maryland, the Mike O'Mara show is on right now. I don't know and what it says about me, Mike, but I thought of you when I put on the sweater. That's wonderful. Well, it means that we're, you know, potential lovers. Uh, <laughs> potential, you know, the only thing, past the only, and present. Well, yeah, I understand. Uh, so where's uh, where's your brother? Is he, your was, brother... he was prowling around when I got here. And, I, uh, yeah. I sent him a text that says we're starting. So. I, uh, <laughs> I got my back cracked uh, today, so I got to get out of here, uh, you know, to... Uh, go to one of my myriad of uh, healthcare how, professionals. How often are you chiropractoring these days? Not often at all. I'm just trying something else just to see uh, you know, what happens today. Today and is just the credit check, or are they actually going to do the adjustment on you? <laughs> They're going to do it. They're going to have to do a, a money check. I know this guy. This is, uh, this is my good guy, my good chiropractor. A good so chiropractor is a good thing. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, we have a special surprise guest. <laughs> Coming up momentarily, uh, which will be fun, but don't, don't, uh, I don't want to look at him, Pony, until he's here to talk. Do you yes. understand me? Sure. If that's possible. <laughs> sure. I, know. I mean, behind the scenes, technically we have, uh, uh, you know, if I was more of a broadcast, the, the way, uh, a, a little technical uh, note, when, when I introduce a guest on the show, you in TV land see the guest uh, show up right when I say, and here's so-and-so. Right, right, right. However, they put him on my screen a little early and right. I am not enough of a broadcast professional <laughs> or if I'm covering my own ass, I never got the proper amount of communication to indicate to me that when I see them, uh, the it's, audience is not seeing them. Right. Is that accurate? That Correct. is accurate. It's almost like what you're getting is a preview screen and not a program screen. I get it. Yeah. I understand that's the way uh, it works, but uh, yeah, so uh, it's not a surprise guest. It's uh, Mac. We're going to have a oh, Mac well, attack you, today. You did. You let out all the surprise now. Well, no, I don't believe in something you have uh, staked your career on, which is uh, building something up that is absolutely nothing into being something more than it is. Well, that's, You like that conjuring. I don't like that conjuring. That's sort of a P.T. Barnum thing. You know, it's, uh, it's exciting. It, yeah, but what was he? He was a grifter. Well, yeah, but he, I mean, he was a con man. Yeah, but you know what? He often gave the people what they wanted, and he never ran for office. You have probably, and and you've done most of them over my career. Yeah, you have probably produced out of uh, surprise guests. Yes, less than a five percent truly pleasant surprise ratio. I'm not putting you down. No, I understand. I'm just saying you like to say surprise guests. I can well, think of the two greatest that one, worked. Okay. All right. Maybe we're on the same page. The the one that's most recent was Rudy Martsky, which was a pretty good surprise because it was totally out of the blue. And Let I me think give you, you the answer to that one. <laughs> oh, I think yeah, you. I think you enjoyed our, speaking no, with him. I think you sell yourself short. There's one that comes immediately to mind, which was one of the best ones ever. Uh, well, the one that was was meaningful to me was many years ago. It was Alf. <laughs> Because we I think, didn't making, I think my point is being made. No, because I mean it was a mystery guest. Right okay, now. what's the one that comes to mind for you? Um, it, it was a personal one. It wasn't a big deal for the audience, but it was my childhood uh, broadcast That's partner, right. John yes. Bernie. I remember and that. You'll, you'll be happy to know. I I think I saw that on YouTube just the other day. Uh huh. Uh, he wasn't on camera, but he was on the uh, phone and. I realize that we have not maintained any contact whatsoever. Really? Not since, since that day? No. No. It was a one do and I done. Need, do I need like, to book him again? <laughs> no. No. I mean, it's just the way it is, and I was happy with it. It, was, As it I worked recall, for me. he reached out, and then hey, I Hey, Pony, didn't, can I, we find out if Oscar's planning on joining us for the show today? Yeah, I've sent him a message. No, I don't want to. Like, fucking sending messages. Get asses out of chairs and find him. You're in the same building, please. Sure. Thank you. 
ass is out of chairs. I've sent him a message. You saw him earlier, right? Yes. He's in the building, right? Yes, yes. I saw him this morning when I got here. Sending a message. You know, come on. What are we doing here? Good Lord. Anyway. Bernie uh, actually reached out to me. What was his name? John Bernie? John Bernie. John Bernie reached out to me, and the story was so fantastical, I doubted him, and it's one of the only times I reached out and contacted your sister for verification. Before yeah, telling yeah, she you. knew John. She yeah. knew John. We knew his family. She and, even took uh, my call. Um, I want to mention something that's pretty special. After uh, having our guest, our talking head, Jason. Yes. Correct? Yes. Jason, uh, what was his last name? Do we remember his last I'll name? I'll have it for Jason. you in a moment. Yes. Uh, you don't either. Uh, Jason, uh, you and I, by the way, the same uh, deterioration. Jason, Jason, Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor. It was yeah. in your phone. That's good. Jason Taylor. They did a piece just this morning. I'm watching the news, and uh, I believe it was Port Charlotte, Florida, where they were up at a manufactured home community, those uh, aluminum homes that got so devastated. And the person they were speaking to, the reporter, was talking about their waiting now where the people from Team Rubicon will be coming in shortly. And you saw this area, and it was a uh, story on debris removal, which is the most astonishing uh, element of... Uh, there he is. I lost Dr. Tom. Sorry. There he goes. Uh, I was anyway, interviewing somebody. Uh, oh, good. Happy day. Uh, anyway, so that it is, was... That uh, is very... When I got him on the phone, he just mentioned in passing when he reached out what he did, but the longer I did a pre-interview with him, the better it got. It was so wild, all the stuff they do and the, the structure of so that. So it was so Rubicon, nice yeah. having him on the show. And then uh, this morning, right on the uh, on the news, and by the way, um, I'm a you know, I'm a bit of a star effer as well. Yes. I watch my local news, and I took my kid to the batting cages last night. Mm-hmm. And as I'm sitting there, one of the morning anchors goes walking by with her two kids. And I didn't know the name. Because I because it's not an anchor that uh, mm. you know that I've that was I've it watched. Renee I don't know Poussant? any of the names. <laughs> no, it was not Ed. hilarious. But I uh, <laughs> she's dead. I really she always think. Oh, she's dead. Is she? Yes. Uh, yes, Rob. You I didn't know that. I didn't know. We that. talked about it here on the show. Oh, I'm you live sorry. in the city. His mind is gone oh, more yeah. than mine is. There are some dark. Hey, I've had areas. a year. It's all gray right? matter. I'm sorry. God, Renee Poussant. I remember the most famous thing she, uh, unfortunately, infamous thing she did was back in 1980 when I was at the American University in Washington, D.C., yep. and they had come on ABC and said, we are not going to show you the U.S.-Russian oh, right. hockey mm-hmm. game mm-hmm. Uh, so that you will be able to see it live. We we're having it live on tape, and they made a big deal about it because it had already been played. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they go on and on and on, and then there's a news update, and Rene Poussin comes on and says, the United States beats the Russians. That story coming up at 11. And I'm like, no. That was when we had a, we had a I think, a toga party up in the, oh, wow. uh, a the main toga area party. of the, of the uh, <laughs> weekly. We had the uh, a big party happening in our dorm room on the main uh, floor of our dorm room, and we came up like with hockey sticks and yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we were we were late for the party going right. to the toga party because we were all watching the hockey game. It was great. It was absolutely my fantastic, apologies. But. Miss Poussant passed on March of this year, and I was in the thick of having some trouble at that time. So <laughs> I apologize. No, it was not. No, March look of at the date. Year. March fourth, two thousand twenty-two. Really? Yes, yeah, what it said on the uh, internet. Let me yeah. see. Mm-hmm. Let me see that. Yeah, I think you might be right. I thought it was earlier. Dies at uh, seventy-seven. March right. 9th. 2022. Okay. I thought it was early. I thought it was last When did you go to the hospital? March 30th? It's 4th. I went, no, I went on the 16th, but I probably wasn't at my best. So glad that's not yours. It says 9. It says 4. Died March 4th. It says right here. She was 77 March 9th. Yes. But go back. That's the date this posted. Oh. And she died on March 4th. All right. You're off mic. You're off mic. You're yelling at me. Uh, uh, I've already yelled, Oscar. I I, I yelled when I said, uh, where is Oscar? And Pony, who's sitting... Eight feet from you says, I just messaged him. <laughs> you got to walk, You know, man. for a guy that's I don't have thin, my phone on me. And it's not difficult for you to get up and down. You do not like to get out of He's your chair. He's ambulatory. Yeah. I'm running multiple video systems. Yeah, but you're trying to oh, deal but, with the but, show. Honey, when Mike asks you, you're not live. What are you running? We are live. We're he, live we on were, the air right we now? We were on the yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. You guys started yeah. the show oh, David, without me? Yes. David, <laughs> we are live. <laughs> we are live. Hi, America. What, did you think, did you think this was our pre-show? Mm-hmm. 
Was more oh God, you are nonsense. out of it today. <laughs> I was in, I was interviewing an employee. God bless I, you guys. I'm, there's another no. business I got to run. I'm sorry. We have show. Uh, I have to. I have an appointment at eleven o'clock. I have to get my back. Crack. He could so, have uh, walked have to, to me. I have lunch and said, at noon. The show. They always started. good. Let's change this right yes. now. If Oscar is in the building, yes, yes, and I pop in, and he's not there. Sop. Walk go over. Get Use him. your feet. Done. Absolutely. I was here at. 820 this morning. All right. So I was good. in the building. Yes. Hi, America. So, um, I was thinking about the state of the human condition. Mm. And let me, if I may, just have a moment of therapy because I think I need it. Um, I think that we, uh, as Americans, as human beings, as people, but let's just focus on Americans right now. I was thinking about COVID, mm-hmm. I was thinking about down here. Hurricanes. I was thinking about driving down the street and seeing F so and so or F this yeah. uh, on flags. Mm. I was thinking about uh, news stories and service just this week, talking about how uh, there, you know, there might be a setup that the Russians are doing for Ukraine to have a dirty bomb that could justify nuclear war. Nuclear war closer than where we were in the 1960s. Mm-hmm. And I'm just saying. Uh, is this our moment in time, or is this just the human condition where this has been forever? This is how we roll as human beings. Is it, and I, I throw this out as an open question, is it just open chaos all the time? Because it seems to me that the chaos, and then we'll throw in our personal chaos, in my case, the hurricanes, mm-hmm. in Rob's case, his uh, health scare. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oscar, and by the way, marriage. <laughs> failing marriage. Yeah. Don't want to count that one just yet. Yes. But thank you. I feel as show. though, I feel as though uh, we have steeled ourselves to a very, very difficult existence right now. Uh, and, you know, and I believe I've got it good. I'm healthy. Mm-hmm. I've got a wonderful family. Uh, Could and, use more and facials. I uh, well, stop! Clients, don't, don't, really. don't pick that scab. Yeah. I think she's getting a massage this morning. <laughs> no, is she giving it to herself? Nope, she's not. That's a she's mini massage. Somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, it must have to. Um, must stay limber. So I'm curious what you guys think now that I bring that up because you might not. I might have put you in a mood and everybody listening in a mood just by. I bringing can't that wait up. to hear the the beginning of the show, um, guys. It's really good. <laughs> Because you weren't here. <laughs> Did Sorry. I yell on mic? Did I yell on mic or off mic? Both. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the, the heat is always good for the show. Mike, I feel like this is the geopolitical, um, I guess, headwinds that we have now with a war looming. There's one in Ukraine, but a world war hypothetically Yeah, a world looming. war hypothetically. That's, yeah. This is uncharted territory for right. our generation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, a pandemic, uncharted territory for many generations. Every day, another news story uh, surfacing about this variant, yeah. that yeah. variant. Flu. Yesterday, cruising along, you know, RSV, mm-hmm. driving around, listening to the fact that uh, Pfizer and Moderna might uh, showing this is bad news. God almighty. I None. think Stop. this has been the worst year. It has. It's been the worst year life. I ever remember. And it's been pretty good for and us. And personally, it yes. hasn't been yes. that bad for us. Yes. You're I right. mean, well, for Rob, it's been bad. But again, with even with Rob, a Rob does good, it to a himself. Good, a, he well, it he did it to himself, yeah. but a good outcome yeah. on that. TBD. On that. I uh, I asked Rob to go to Chris Rock and yeah uh, I was going to mention this and uh, Fresh Face and Fresh Face to go to Chris Rock tonight because my tickets are for tonight. You had three or you had, I had four? four? I had four. I had four. I, I, I forgot I bought four tickets. Is Shannon going? Shannon's going. So I, and each ticket was two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Like I must have done it when I was hammered. Oh, I go. I, yeah, boy, and they're great so tickets. Cool. Great You're a lucky tickets, man, right? Mr. Spiewak. Well, Fresh Face blew him off. She declined. What about, what about you? Well, I don't know that it would be polite to take one ticket when there are two. Yes. So I said we have to cordially he declined. Decline. Decline. Well, well, that would be. Decline. Well, wait a minute. That would be your uh, your benefactor's uh, call. 
Not yours. I mean, is it impolite? Do you it want wouldn't him have to been come? impolite, but he declined as a team. Yeah, because she said it was a school night and she didn't. Hold on. Do you want to? Do, do you have you given away the uh, tickets oh, already? They went all. They went like. Do you, you. This is what's great. This is what's going to kill Rob. Can I have a timpani, please, Mike, of who I'm taking? I'm good at Rob that. Because uh... Rob and Carrie blew me off. Yeah. Actually, just one of us did. Going yeah, to, you didn't want to go. Going to Chris Rock, a D A R. Hold on. Stop the tape. Hold on. That's what I fanfare my t- uh, timpani with. You, you lie because. That's a lie. That's a <laughs> lie. Because. That's, by see, the way, when you say, whenever you say, whenever you say, and you say it a lot lately, that that's a lie. Uh, when you say that to me, say it always like the character in <laughs> Mommy Dearest. That's a lie. I can teach you it a little okay, bit. Better. Better. Okay, better. Okay, do it. How do you say it? That's a lie. Okay. <clears throat> that's right, so a, why is it a That's yeah. a lie. <laughs> that's very good. good. That'll do good, good. I, I, I never yeah. went to the camp. But pretty good. No, I would be there in a heartbeat because it is a legendary comic. To see someone like that in person, that would okay. be huge. And Oscar right. and I have great date yeah, nights. Yeah, that's why I was like, who, like, who would right. be fine? Yeah, so, but, I know it's last minute as well. It's yeah. fine. I get it. But Carrie said it was late for a, for a school night. I said you could come in and see the office. She because she's still never seen Podville, and right. I said uh, she said, "Well, that means driving into the city by myself. Uh, I think I'm not up to it." Mm. Okay, so. uh, I get that with uh, with her. So yeah. what uh, what was the outcome? Can, with I, get the two temp- Can I get a yeah, now Tim- Oh, Tim- another timpani. Tim- okay, go hit it again. all over. <clears throat> Tonight, going to Chris Rock with Shannon and I. Whew. Off the Academy Awards. What will he say? CK. From WJFK. That's wonderful. Uh, always thrilled when you can uh, when you can give a you know a nice evening to a person that fired your coworker. Um, that's uh, that's Co- wonderful. Mike? Coworkers, yes. technically. Coworkers, technically. Yes. Yeah. And fired you. Yeah. Technically. Well, I, I I was mad at Rob. I said, who can I who could I get to hurt him? That right. doesn't so he hurt. hurt me. It doesn't. That doesn't hurt you. <laughs> hurts me. Hurts him. I think. How there, long's it been? 13, 14 years. I, I think there could have been better choices. <laughs> but I'm not Chris, hurt. Chris and I have uh, a delightful young man yes. at a high level. I've seen him multiple times in the past few months. Uh, he's yes, he's an Odyssey. He's running seven stations. We are friends and. I know, I know for a fact that, like, I was like, "Hey, you probably have a more open schedule than most. I'm going to reach out to you." And he said, uh, like yeah, that. "The answer is yes. I'd love to have this show put on a radio station in Washington on the weekend." Oh, sure. You went from jealous yes. to what opportunity do we have now that you're nah. friends with the enemy again? No, not really. No? I don't want to be okay. involved with in that. Which that one company. is it? I, uh, I, that's a definite. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if he asks, I'll yeah. say no. Well, you don't think he's going to ask? I don't do know, you? but I'm. I don't want to. I don't want to bring something. Do you table harbor you're not that into. in the inside of your brain? Do you think about that? I no, mean, so no. Long. I own yeah, Odyssey really... stock, and I'm depressed by it. Is that the name of the company? Yes. Oh, okay. The same people that did the video game company in the '70s? No, no. I thought Odyssey it was Radio too. One or something like. No, that. No, no. It's uh, it Oscar used to be Entercom, a part of now. It's Odyssey. Entercom. It was Entercom. Yes, now it's Odyssey. So Oscar it was, it has went a company from... called Radio One. One. Uh, <laughs> uh, it went from. Thanks for that. Always want to shoehorn one of your racist jokes in there. Who's working? So Xfinity. Uh, no, no, Infin- no, Infinity. Infinity, Infinity yeah. Broadcasting, CBS, Radio, Westinghouse, Westinghouse. After the after, no, you, you, Westinghouse would be was CBS, right? Uh, CBS. What was after CBS? Infin- our checks came, and we were, I think we're on the same page. Our checks were Infinity Broadcasting. That what said on the, and then it went to CBS, then CBS, Radio, CBS, mm-hmm. CBS Radio, right. Right. and then it went to Entercom. Okay, and we were gone by Entercom, mm-hmm. and, and now, now it's, it's, Odyssey. it's been Odyssey for the last. Four years. Right. Is it AUD Odyssey? Yes. Like you listen. Yes. Yeah, not like Odyssey. I think the stock is like 42 Odysseus. cents. Not like Audacity. Or Odysseus and his Odyssey in ancient Greek literature. You have, you had a- I really wish I hadn't complimented your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> you had the a, sweater's not what's pissing you off. You it's had, me. It's what's in the sweater. You had a one- Yeah, I suppose. You actually, your, your wires aren't crossed because radio.com is a property that they own. The radio.com app at one point they own that. So that's why you said Radio right. One. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're not All far right. off. Well, uh, But if there I is look- a station, yeah. just to clarify, yeah. you're open or closed to the idea? It's a hard question to ask me. Okay. No topic is too dangerous to be discussed. 
No, no, I don't. Uh, I really like where I am. Okay. I don't make the money, but I really like where I am. I like I what like I'm where doing. we are as well. Yeah. I'd like our Well, let me ask you this. Yeah, you're the ask, bu- you're the business you're the me. businessman. Do you think that we do you do you hold out any uh opportunity for forward progress within the entity that we all control uh for financial gain? I think I think that well, let me be clear here. We have grown. Um no, you're you're absolutely right. Yes. We have grown. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I haven't grown with it. Yeah, because we've because personally, my own, my own personally, dollars. Personally, because yeah, we're reinvesting so into I'll the ask business it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know. Yeah. I understand that. He's, uh, he's like annoyed but, by this for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Um, what I believe is that there if, was one other thing that I didn't mention because I was trying to be good to my wife that was mentioned during our little tiff yesterday. Oh no. So that's kind of why I bring it up. Oh, you know oh what I yeah. Mean? yeah. There was after yeah. the after the the thing you said where I went for the jugular, mm-hmm. it was a little counterpunch that was kind of a nah, she returned like fire. Nice. Yeah. In the in the worst way possible yeah. mm-hmm. for me, you know, and so that's why, why don't you get a real job. Question. Yeah. You know what? I would entertain <laughs> the idea. Just a half beat of silence after that yes, was nice. Yes. <laughs> I would. Well, I was thinking about what I was going to say, which is what I do a lot when other people are talking. Um, my question would be. uh if we could we if we controlled everything you know on our on our end yes that would be okay you know what i mean if we, we just delivered the product beholding. if i didn't have to have one meeting conversation yeah anything like that where we were like uh with our our friends at KCJJ mm-hmm. i would be i would be content and by the way I don't think it's going to happen. Let me tell you why. This ain't. I I know this it's going to sound reality like reality television. It's it's going to sound like egomania uh, that's completely out of control. This show is too good for radio. Well, we're on the radio technically at KCJJ. At KCJJ, yeah. the greatest yeah. radio station yeah. in Iowa, yeah. which is beyond but, radio. Beyond radio, it is. It is. So anyway, I uh, that's the way. Wait, can I, feel. I give you? But my getting back to the, respect- the, the 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 question about me, you, uh, you, you know, remember years ago we used to have these talks off air, yeah, and, uh, and we don't have them anymore. And uh, is there any chance that the ledger, my own personal ledger, could move even just a little bit in the next uh, couple of years uh, it, before it, I die it, or uh, or retire? It it's TBD of how much effort you want to put into it. Like it's it's your, your I am call. putting in now the and I can answer this clearly yes. for you. I am putting in the maximum level of effort you are going to get to me, uh, get out of me before I retire. <laughs> so let me make that. It's the same clear. amount for the past decade. Yes, which is more than satisfactory. Marvel, <laughs> you know what? I'll say this: marvelously consistent. Dependable. I would agree. <laughs> yes, I'm saying I the same. I would agree. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Now I know that, and take out the other entity. Yeah. That that I have a taste of. Yeah. Which is great. Which was. Oh, it's gonna I be will great. When, when be you, grateful when you when you finally get a check, a big check one day, you're gonna be like, oh, I always knew this was gonna take off. Or my wife when I'm, you know, yeah, when I'm she's too, little Michael. Oh dear. Like oh, don't um, don't be buried with your arms crossed like that. I hate that. I'll be up. I don't no, know. touch I haven't made the determination. I want to be like worm food. I think. Really. Yeah, I don't want to be. Oh, a, no. I don't want to talk about that. I want yeah, yeah, to yeah, keep yeah. my eyes focused. Burn them onto a laser disc. I want to be focused. And With by every the way, bonus tell Mac, we, subscription, you get a little bit of mic ads. Yeah. T- tell <laughs> Mac, Mac, we will get to you in the second segment because this is important. Already, because Oscar and I don't business. do this off air yeah. anymore. We yeah. used to do it all the time, mm. but now it's more kind of comfortable because we don't get as heated as we used to. No. Yes. Uh, so you, if you're telling me there's a chance. That would that would be, you know, for for our little entity. But you didn't. I think you already answered my question. You know, the amount of work when you alluded to the fact that I am a lazy fuck. No, uh, that that truly, you know, answers my question. Let me ask, let me you know. ask you, this. Let me ask this. If he were to promise a well, nudge in the right direction on your ledger, would it inspire you to live longer? That's a great, yes. That's a great yes. A hundred percent. So okay. I do, so I'll do yes. my best, Mike. If you work harder, no, you will make no, more money. Just tell him to live longer, and then you'll live longer. See. 
All right, now I'm depressed. <laughs> no, now be not I'm depressed. The worst, nastiest answer. <laughs> that pissed me off so totally. I come in here, I want to talk about Ukraine and COVID and hurricanes and debris fields. You really did set a table that we're not having the meal that you prepared for. It. No, I'm I, very sad. I, Don't be sad. I'm very sad. Tonight, How will... about the other thing that is predicated on everybody else that uh, working harder? We are. We are. Podville. We are. We are working harder. So you're thinking that'll that'll come through? 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll take that, I guess. See? That's yeah, good, right? Yeah. But as far... Uh, okay. Then that answers my question. Yeah. Uh, that's why, coming up uh, in 2023, I'd like to make an announcement Please. that uh, my wife and I, uh, separate of the show, uh, are going to be uh, starting a little enterprise ah. that is going to be, uh, you're going to be the first people to hear about it here, and we're already working on it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be the stuff that I don't want to burden Oscar with that I want to do from a merchandising standpoint. Oh, I love it. Cool. Uh, and it's going to be the Mike O'Mara store. And I think that it's going to be something really fun and something that I, I've always, uh, for the last 10 years or so, I've said to Oscar, uh, let's get these, let's get these. And he says, well, remember we had those things in your uh, attic that were just uh, gathering dust and all that. So that's why I think that, uh, you know, on a smaller scale, we can do that. My wife, uh, over the years, has become quite versatile in uh, online merchandising. Will it and, be just uh, merchandise, or will you do like what we discussed yesterday? Like, if you I, if you start talking about phone answering machines, I am going to reach no, no, through no, no, no. this monitor no, no, no. and I will pull your effing throat out. I was no, so, this is going like, to be I drop, stuff sir. that I like. Stop. No, no, <laughs> this is not going to be no, nothing stop. medical. Shecky, nothing. stop. Okay, stop. I'm talking about something that's going to be stuff I like, uh, you know, stuff that I wear, stuff that I I enjoy, and uh, you know, that's it. And I just wanted to, uh, you know, make that because I, that's why I asked the question. Yeah, uh, first I and see. foremost. So, uh, in a way, I'm answering Oscar's question that I, I will I, work harder I, uh, to do. And that. I love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. And I know exactly yeah. the program you're looking at, and she's absolutely right. It's going to work for you. It's perfect. I think that, uh, you know, uh, over the years, uh, you know, she's gotten pretty good at that kind of stuff. Yeah. And there's a, there are a lot of people out there that are doing it. And that's why kind of yesterday I mentioned the fact that uh, I am always, as long as I'm going to be doing this, I am always going to be thinking about ways to uh, adjust the brand, change the brand, have fun with the brand. As far as this show, uh, we had a massive meeting where I came in. I said, we're all going to talk about what we're going to do and nothing changed. But that's my fault. And I still haven't closed the door. I have all the paperwork for the changes I want to implement, but I just haven't. Uh, I haven't really thought that they're worth doing yet. So I would uh, we'll love that. I would love the production the meeting. I think that I was. I, I didn't like want to push the way. That. Yeah. yeah, I know the production meeting before the show. Uh, I like the way the show's going lately a lot. I do. I really like it. I, I really like the way we're. We're rolling, and I uh, I think it might be – I might have to give credit to uh, med medical uh, professionals for adjusting my medication. <laughs> I really want to say that. I, Mike, I love the idea of the store, and you know what? If I were to – I know you always accuse me of being a, a hoarder, but yeah. there's no reason that vintage things, almost collectibles, that I've been holding on to for years – could yeah. not be featured in the Mike O'Mara store. Yeah, no, well, I'll no, give no, you a little Rob, taste Rob, of that if that's Rob, the case. Rob, you know? He's got – he, he, I've been. This is perfect for him. He's going to become an influencer, right? This has nothing to do with your junk at home. This no, is this stuff is not. That, I'm not talking junk. I'm talking like no, no. You don't understand. We are living in a digital age where people pay you an affiliate. Um, eventually, it's a portions of the sale when you move their product. Okay. He's going to do that directly online and has nothing to do with your And there will be stuff that I'm uh, that's my own that yeah. I pay for yeah. and that I sell to yeah. you at a uh, be careful, significant profit. Mike, remember, don't carry the inventory until it's sold. Uh that's one thing that we are <laughs> we're we're looking at at the same time. And that's there's also the an element of risk. marketing this show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that happens. So but don't uh, rule out know. the vintage stuff. The collect I've got So do I have your permission like both of you to do that Absolutely. to go ahead and like, do that on my yes, own? Yes. But since you, we have you a have handshake run, deal that's last You have to run years. all of the customer service there. We are not going to deal with that. Please. Um I have the 
best customer service I agree. professional. I agree. And anybody that's dealt I with just, her. If you uh, don't get oh, your I thought you were talking about Pony. Or your hat. Please write that. No, yeah. See, that ain't going to happen with her. That That's part of her daily yeah. activity yeah. I, anyway. I believe it. So Please she does take, that. I think that's uh, great for the show. And it's going to be amazing. small. It's going to start small, but it's also going to be, you know, something I love that. Just if don't I, carry if I hand select it, no. and I'll uh, uh, well, I, you know, that's the that's the thing that you know with her. I think the volume at the beginning is so small that I know you've used companies that print on demand. Uh, yeah, that that, that that print on demand. They're a little more. They take significantly a hu- they more. Take, they take, yeah, they take a huge. So we'll they, see. They, they remove the risk. That's the thing. You do not like risk. I don't like risk, and I think that. Um, it, to get into the weeds on this, I think there's going to be some very cool stuff. I love wearable that. stuff that's going to be involved, and it might be you know I know that that is not a tremendous profit maker. Oh, no, it's time. great if you look if you all want to take that on, please. This is great for the show. Mm-hmm. People want swag. They want stuff from the program all day. All I am asking for is to please, if you're going to take on the risk, take it on with a big smile. Uh, because there's ups and downs to that. And mm-hmm. we've we've learned that the hard way in the past. And you have not personally had to deal with it, except for the bad news. Not like, hey, why aren't these moving? Do you see what he's doing here? I do. Rob, do I you do? see what of he's course. doing? Can you explain what he's doing to me right yeah. now? Yeah, he is soft selling you the idea that if you get involved, you're going to be miserable while saying on the yeah. surface that it's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, I'd love you to do that because it's going to be such a pain in the ass and you're going to be so bold. I don't want you coming in and yelling at us about he it. He doesn't actually, why would I yell? Why, what, what would I have to, I've already run it, baby. I've already run this. Baby. This is not. I know. I know exactly where I'm at with this thing, and it ain't that big a deal for the bottom line for me. But it's fun, and it's uh, also a smaller enterprise than you would think. But it's something that I've wanted to do for I love it. a long mm-hmm. time, and I think. But yeah, that's what he's doing. He's kind of saying, yeah. it's going to fail. It's not going to fail. It's not. But, if you well, if that, you, then then stop saying. If you, I am so happy. If you work, you're going to take on that amazing. <laughs> Debilitating I, asshole. I think that, I love that's going to suck your life out of here. There are profit margins. The best, the best thing that I love that he said, Mike, if you had to really boil it down, was yes, you hate risk. <laughs> He does. Yes, you he, hate risk. He and doesn't. This risk is going to be horrible. Rob, do you know? I hate I, risk. I, I had, I, but baby, I opened a bar. Do you know what risk that is? Have that you ever is seen the greatest for, risk a human being can have. You ever and seen you know what happened to that risk? Machine? Yeah. That, 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 I love risk. You love risk. I love risk. Yeah. I do. Okay, maybe it's the You wrong, know what? The Seriously, I have the only thing that hasn't worked for me, and I've gotten lucky. And I've been unlucky. Marriages. But the only thing, marriages. Yes. But the only thing Pony. that Pony. has really sucked consistently yeah. for my entire adult yes. life since I've been involved in any kind of business is traditional radio. Business investing. No, radio is great to uh, me. Are you yeah. kidding me? I mean, yeah. but that's it. The standard stuff where, you know, we don't take commissions, but we'll manage it. It's BS. Yeah. I tell any kid that today. Stay out of it. Stay out of it because if you look, I mean, really, anybody looks at market performance, you're going to roll into one of these offices. And by the way, I could be totally wrong. And there are people that are uh, hedge fund people that live in a different world. So the average schmo out there, and this is absolutely true, and I've learned this in my 63 years on this planet, the average schmo that wants to invest in the market. Uh, goes into a place and they say, mm, you know what, we think our consistency has been between mm, 7, 6, 7, and 9% over this period of time. Da, 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 da. Well, what they're telling you is it's dick. Yeah. And then it never performs Well, co- like compounded that. annually, it does add up. But it doesn't the because term. they don't hit those numbers. That's like the market is sucking right now. However, if you are Johnny uh, 130-foot yacht, and you're not dealing with Bernie Madoff. Yes. You talk to the guy that's True. got the inside of the inside of the inside. It's, as George oh. Carlin once said, it's a rigged game. Yep. The fix is in. The, it is. Um, the merchandise option has always been a pain point for for us, uh, not just for TM West, but for every I iteration. I think you got burned. I think you got burned. 
uh, with your other iteration of your other show because you guys did it. You know, if somebody came in and said, "There's a fly on the wall," that's a great idea for a T-shirt. Let's sell fly on the wall uh, T-shirts. That's we. You can't overdo it. So we have gotten, just because you can't do like you can't do too many appearances, or you end up I, I, you end up doing them I, for free. I agree. So that's maybe I'm risk averse to merch because he hates risk. When no, because we've actually built in like we if, if we're going to put it on the table, we internally have built have said okay this many people are coming to live shows let's take all these shirts to the state theater right and then that's let's, why let's I tell you, and by the way that's why it takes oh oh i'm not talking about merchandise but we build in that to live shows as well if you wonder why live shows take a long time for us to set up there's a lot of work that goes Correct. in and oscar mm-hmm. puts that work in so, to making sure that we can do it and not lose yeah. our and, sure. and the print right. on, and the print on demand really worked out the last time we had a live show in Vegas, yeah, because we had um, we had essentially the risk being taken on by a separate company, where right. then we shared the profits. So there was just what was sold, there was profit, and there was minimal mm-hmm. risk even on their part because they had the infrastructure to Correct. handle it. Right. So I guess what I should have said is find the right printing partner. Or for whatever merchandise partner, oh, whatever and that I'd you be use. willing to uh, accept your yes, suggestions. That whatever on you do, because it's exciting to like, oh, we can get a thousand of these. Yeah, at and make this no cost. mistake, you need partners in this. Correct, and correct, correct. Carla, in her line of work, has a, you know, just lucked into having a fabulous partner that actually manufactures here in South Florida. Even better. Florida even better. And does a even great better. job, but but not for the stuff I want. So I gotta. That's really important to me to do. Although. Those people are findable as well. You can sure. do that. Sure, online, but, uh, all day. All so, day. Mike O'Mara store, I think 2023. reasonably, 2023 would be, you know, we started talking about this about a month ago, uh, maybe a little longer, but really to do it correctly and set it up. Look for it after the first of the year. I love it. Uh, I and you'll know Thank when you. I come in with something. When Thank I Carla. come in with something and uh, and Thank I show Carla. you, that's, that's what we'll do. And, uh, you know, help me uh, pay for my golf balls. <laughs> That's uh, that's the way I would look. At I, it, I would right? say uh, help for, spread the word on the show. Yeah, I think that's probably the better. Spread way. the word. Yeah. Help your son's education. All of these yes. things are important. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because right now, you know, <laughs> every thermal mug. If you're willing to work harder. <laughs> F you. you hate the risk, Mike. Sixty-three. You. I've worked every day of my life. Let's take a break. I'm gonna yes, smack. Let's him. do. If we don't take a break, <laughs> I'm gonna smack him. Hey, let's talk at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pony, I'll send them a message. Even in the better, room next Mike. You're door. missing the best thing. Oh, have we started? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Wow. Uh, Mike McIntosh coming up in place of my news, which will be after that on or, the Mike O'Mara or show. So. Right <laughs> or so. Who is the captain now? Hi. My name is. Huh? My name is. What? My name is. Rob Spiewak. Excuse me. Can I have the attention of the audience for one second? Hi, kids. You see, now he's real skinny, but he used to be fat. He works with Pony, but he calls him mad. He raps on the podcast about this and that. Adjust the thermostat with a baseball bat. I don't know. What the f*** Still was Rob thinking yeah. with that every night drinking? Nearly killed his liver swimming in a vodka lemonade river. Thinking about it makes me shiver. I'm talking about Spiewak. Now he's on the right track, but here comes the blowback. So you're a big spender. Use the show shopping center. Click the banner to order. Get yourself a recorder. MichaelMarishow.com is the website to click on. Let's troubles be bygone. The conclusion is foredrawn. What time does the show come on? Don't forget, shop online through the TMOS portal by clicking the banner at michaelmarishow.com. A little something for you and a little something for them. Click it now, you fools. Hi. My name is... Huh? My name is... What? My name is... <laughs> Rob Spiewak. You Hi. fools. <laughs> oh, cutie patootie. Uh, that's uh, Mark Riddell's daughter. That Rachel. I that about. Yeah. Uh, a recent report shows that consumer debt like interest rates has increased to historic numbers uh, with the home equity that many owners uh, currently have. Let me buy with the home equity that many homeowners currently have, it's a good time to consider tapping into the equity to save money every month. According to my good friend Mark Livingstone at Cornerstone First Financial, uh, just because you have low interest rates uh, doesn't mean that you shouldn't refinance and take cash out to save money. They know about this at Cornerstone First Financial, and if you were to wrap in, uh, say, a car loan, credit card, student loans, you can save hundreds if not thousands per month. Even with a higher interest rate, if cash flow relief is the priority, if you want to reduce your debt and you want to get your head above water, the rate is irrelevant. Credit cards and second mortgages are in the double digits, and in some cases, the cash out is tax deductible. 
So there, mm. call now to check out what these guys can do for you because they're the best. Whether it's a purchase or refinance, call Cornerstone First Financial today, the number one rated mortgage company of all TMOS listeners, 202-625-1221. That's 202-625-1221 or cornerstonefirst.com. Well, uh, we mentioned it yesterday on the show. Uh, Nikki Diamond will join us again next week. And uh, we have replaced Nikki today with a, with a segment with a, one of our old interns. You know him. You love him. You follow his health. And uh, hopefully he's coming to us from his basement. I give you Mike Mac, Ma- Michael Mac Macintosh. That's it. We call him Mac. 1-1000. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mac. Hi, Mike. Are you Hi, on, how are you? Are you on camera? We don't see you. Oh, oh so. you don't see him, Oscar? I see now him. Now we see him. There okay, he thanks. is. Okay. Hi there. Pony, can I ask you what happened there? Yeah, there's a delay with Zoom when you bring someone on. That's why, why I why usually are you bring... So hostile? Because Jesus I'm so tired of this. We've gone through this a million times. There's a delay with bringing a camera into Zoom. How, how much of a delay? It's usually about five to ten seconds. Well, Mike teased it way before this. He spot. did, he did. But if I, I brought him in any earlier, he'd get mad because I brought him in too early. Oh, yeah, do you well, see he does the have problem a here? Yeah. So why don't you be consistent, either early or late? I don't want to, because he'll yell at me mm-hmm. either way. All right. He said, "Don't bring him in too early this time." So, okay. Hmm? So now you showed him. You showed him, and you really stopped the put the brakes. At on least the he's not yelling now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mike, at least you're not up here. That's the silver line. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we begin our interview no, with uh, Mike all. McIntosh? What size T-shirt are you? Not at all. Thank you. Oh. We're done here. Now he's going to be. Now he's taking <laughs> his ball. Here. We're done. He's taking his ball and going home. Yeah. Mac, don't you so miss this? So what will he be because of this? What will he be like? And I'm sorry, we'll get to you in a minute, Mac. What will <laughs> Pony be like for the Sullen. rest of the show? Yeah, Sullen. But, Sullen, but you really not much. That not that much different. Be now Sullen. I think that it, it's uh, it's just knowing the rhythm. Now, now, you know, I've been, I've worked collaboratively my whole life. Rob, do you understand what I'm saying here? Of course. Knowing the rhythm, you do it every day, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if it can be taught, so I'm not sure. But uh, now I feel horrible. Rhythm I'm is a nation, Mike. You mustn't, you mustn't, rhythm is a dancer. Oh, not a nation. Yeah. You must, uh, rhythm nation 1814. Thank you. You, right. you know what, Mike? Yeah. I, I, you can't teach it, but we roll with it. You know, Pony, I do yell sometimes too much. I, I get too uh, I get too upset. You're passionate. So, yeah, you uh, just so, want to you know right? what, Pony? Are you listening to me? I am. I am. I, I do sometimes, and you know what? I, I need to tell you this. But listen, I I fly off the handle, and I get upset, and uh, I go off, and uh, sometimes it's uh, it's frustrating for you, and it's frustrating for me. So I just want to say to you, maybe it'll be less frustrating if we get somebody else in here that can do it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm just kidding. I love you, Pony. Uh, anyway, you love want to reset? Pony. Reset just with kidding. Mac. Uh, hi, Mac. How are you? You got your game chair. Yes, I do. <laughs> How are you? Here. I'm doing well. How are you? How are you I'm guys? doing great. You look good. You look ha- Every time I see you, you look happier. And you look happy today. You look like uh, you're happy to be here. We're delighted to have you on the show. Got great uh, furniture. Th- yes. And that's that's yeah. your uh, that's your apartment, your own apartment, condo. right? Yes, my condo. I your con- oh, your con- You own the. Oh, hey, 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 I love that. <laughs> I love that. Did you have a hard time hiring the 85 year old lady that said put the afghan on the couch as the decorator? <laughs> or <laughs> hey, but look what color it is. Yeah, yeah, bur- yeah, burnt yeah. orange. Oh, he sure. loves it. I don't think it's an afghan. I think it's some sort of pillow or something, isn't it? No, it's it? just it's just a blanket. It's a weighted it's, blanket. It's a sex pillow, Mike. <laughs> is that a is that a Rubik's cube on the uh, the couch? Oh, why yes, it is. Could oh, you uh, are you a uh, are you skillful with a ru- and you have an orange? Uh, you've got it on yeah. the orange on the outside too, yeah. Mike. There actually, so, here's a here's an aside, and let me jump in here, Mac. Mac yes. is not only such a Rubik's cube expert that he has the four by four Rubik's cube that he brought on a flight to Las Vegas, and when we were in the ascent leaving the airport, Jimmy Cerrito <laughs> said. Let me see that. And his first violent spin, the cube shattered, and little cubes went rolling down the airline (laughs) because we were in ascent. And so we had to spend most of the flight trying to reassemble the 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Um, I've upgraded. I've upgraded my Rubik's Cube. 
because this is a seven by seven. Oh my god! Oh, wow. look at that. The girls uh, must love it. <laughs> <laughs> how is uh, how's the job going at Guitar Center? No, uh, is that Micro Center is very good. Micro Center, Micro oh, Center. That's yes, right. Yes, yes, yeah. Micro Center. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Micro Center is going pretty good. Uh, uh, I'm probably. I'm starting to look for a new uh, a new job. It's I've just been there too long. Has the owner been uh, by lately? Mr. Micro? Micro, no, micro. micro has yeah. not oh, been micro, there. Micro. Some dirty job. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's not Mr. Micro. It's Hugh Center. <laughs> He's a partner. <laughs> Hi. Sounds like Phil Hartman. Hello. I'm Hugh Center. I'm coming by to see how you... So you were, uh, the last we checked, you were kind of on the uh, fast track. Yes. Uh, you just kind of burned out in the old Micro Center? Yeah. I mean, I... I uh, a few months ago, I hit five years, mm. and it's, wow, not full time it's, it's, though. You were going part time for some time. No, I've always been full time, but you weren't working full time. No, I was. You weren't, but you weren't giving in a hundred percent. Yes, yes. Husky's doing a Mac. What, what he does to I me. I see what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps you do better if you worked a little harder. <laughs> so, if you but, were to leave Micro Center, where could you go from there that would also benefit Oscar? Yes. Well, okay. <laughs> there was no benefit, if you recall. Yeah, he we showed up. we showed up. He said, oh, "I don't get uh, discounts on Max." Oh, that's true. Weird. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I like the the fact that you are, um, you know, you've done so well there, but you're uh, you've you know, outgrown. Maybe the thinking place. about uh, well, doing expanding. Uh, retail has a shelf. I mean, a uh, shelf yes. life. Right? Tell me, you about know, it. Yes. I mean, that's and it. it's that. And I bought a new car. Uh, oh, hold so. it! What kind of car did you buy? Uh, a uh. Kia Nero. Ah, oh, you Kia it's nerds. A, uh, Look at you guys. It's it's a uh, hybrid. Oh, oh okay. Look at you, your footprint. N E R O is it spelled? N I R O. Oh, so it's not named after the guy that burned down Rome. It's the new guy. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Forty K. Forty K. Something like that, right? He's throwing that 30, number 30, around like crazy. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's about thirty. Yeah. Something like that. Thirty. And, and I sense. obviously right. had to pay what uh, two thousand dollars over sticker price. Yeah, yeah. Because, because that's, that's how, how you do. Are. But now yeah. you're driving yeah. around in Korean comfort. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. South it's a nice Korea. Car. Oh, but... down here. Don't get me started about cars down here. God. <laughs> yeah, the recent uh, problems in Southwest have caused a shortage, but we have cars. F you. I mean, there's so many. Look, there's Mike, so many we examples. We have cars for you. <laughs> Uh, you know what? <laughs> I just hate it. I hate it. For some reason, I hate seeing a commercial where where they come out and they say, we're here for you. Yes. And then they say they're not doing anything no. other than selling cars at the same rate. They're selling them maybe more. More. So, they're here uh, for your money is what they say. Yeah. Right. They want the uh, money. Do you, so it's an SUV, Mac, right? It's a compact. Ooh, a compact a co shagging wagon. Crossover, yeah. would you say? Uh, it looks like a crossover, a crossover SUV. Okay, it what, looks like it, it's like a mini crossover. What color? It is uh, orange. Funny, uh, yes. Ah! It is an orange. Car. Atta boy. <laughs> Atta a boy. Consistent. I think it's a nice looking I can, car. I, yeah, I can get view. I have it. I'm looking it. at it. I'm yeah, not, I, we don't I, need I to see it. it. We can all. We don't need Google. to see any of your sure glamour thing, yeah. shots yeah. that you carry around in your phone. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Screams Mac. It does. Let me ask you, Mac. Any Phillies in the stable? Uh, there is not, no. Oh, have there been since we've last spoken? It's been over there, a year. Uh, no, there have not. Oh, how, in your five years mm. at yes. uh, working at uh, at Lowe's, has there been any? <laughs> I love. Have Mike there have thing. there been any uh, ladies that have come through the oh, uh, the true. doors? And in this day and age, it's difficult to have office mm. romance, but. Uh, have there been ever ever any women that came working uh, at Micro Center that were uh, intriguing to you? Intriguing, yes, but nothing beyond that. I mean, it is not many because a computer store, not many women w work there. I will. Why say are you that. being sexist? <laughs> I'm just telling you the facts. I would like to see more women to work there. But they don't. Okay, you're saying they're they're smart enough to work there. They just don't want to work there. Correct. Okay, just to clarify. Okay. And yeah. when they go yeah. there, they don't last very long because somebody will say, uh, "Let me show you where we keep our dongles." And that'll... 
you know, this that'll, guy. Be, that'll be <laughs> this just guy. him. Be this old guy. I want to tell you. Hey, Mr. Gentlemen. McIntosh, hey. could you could you help me with my name tag? <laughs> yeah, straight, to break. straight to human we'll resources. We'll come back to mm-hmm. one more thing with Mac. I can't believe he's got a two segment. <laughs> he's a two segment uh, guy. That's right. You know, and uh, I wrote this. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> we'll. Uh, We'll come back and talk more with Mac. Always seems to go well with him for some yeah, reason. Yeah, I think we like it. I think that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, Pony. Yes. Hi. Uh, we'll take a break, and uh, we will come back with more fun and more thrills on the uh, Mike O'Mary Show. The students of Herndon High School are scared. I'm so scared. They caution each other to stay awake, or they may experience a nightmare on Eldon Street. Hey, it's Jimmy. What do you want from me? Try the buffalo platter. <laughs> You're a monster. Say hi to Goosarito. Save yourself. Order a TMOS bonus show subscription and laugh along with Mike, Robin, Oscar. It's not a Ponzi scheme. Click <laughs> the banner at MikeOmeraShow.com and start your subscription today so you can live to see tomorrow. It'll be okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. With work from home becoming the norm, we're spending more time indoors, but now is the time to get outside while the weather is still good. Electric e-bikes offer next-level features at a price that's easy on your wallet. All their e-bikes ship free. They are fully assembled, so there's nothing stopping you from adventure. Right now, during Electric e-bikes better than Black Friday sale, you can save up to $450. This is the best bang for your buck in the market, hands down. Uh, Oscar and Shannon both have them in yes. their house, mm. uh, and they love them. Uh, it, it's Ride got to customizable. Work together. There you go. It's great, yep. and it's great for boy city dwellers. All oh, the best. Uh, you know, even if you're in the burbs, it's what great. It has customizable add-ons and adjustable features that let you tailor your ride to your style. If you're watching gas prices go up, down, and sideways, you, you've you got electric e-bike to get around with. It's fantastic. I've seen them down here in West South Florida, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they've got variable pedal assist throttle, all-terrain tires, and a foldable design. No e-bike does more at this price. You can cover up to 45 miles on a single charge and reach up to 28 miles per hour with the 850-watt peak motor. Plus, upgraded seating, racks, and other accessories make it easy to build your dream ride. Take advantage of the electric e-bikes better than Black Friday sale now and get your adventure on. Go to electricebikes.com and save up to $450 during their better than Black Friday sale. But hurry, because this sale ends on October 31st, Halloween. Ooh, scared kids. Uh, that's electric e-bike. L-E-C-T-R-I-C e-bikes. Dot com. We're talking with former intern and computer whiz kid mm. and all-round good guy, Mike McIntosh, who we periodically check in with. And uh, yesterday we were going to have a uh, segment with Nikki Diamond that uh, got uh, canceled because of Nikki a uh, little under the weather. Uh, or I hope so. I hope he's not in somebody's trunk right now. But he we'll has find a, out next week. He has week. a flu variant that they haven't identified yet. Yeah, a flu variant called uh, <laughs> Cosa Nostra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me ask you this, Mac. You uh, you're you're looking for uh, a change. Is there a particular arena where you are uh, probing? A uh, uh, similar, I mean, less retail, but I would probably be looking more like uh, uh, IT uh, mm. and or like working on fixing computer for like a bigger company, something like that. Um, there's always one that keeps being. Uh, floated around in our area our arena of work which is uh amazon uh specifically aws amazon yeah. web Just services announced, uh hiring freeze mm-hmm. <laughs> fantastic you, want else. <laughs> you know you All are right, let's you go are to traffic cat- <laughs> you are captain <laughs> captain rain on our parade today I swear to God. I'm curious. The uh, timing just couldn't announced have been the hiring fee for Eden. On Monday. If if the opportunity presented itself, could you land at the Genius Bar? Uh, technically retail. I could. That's but sideways, that was, isn't it? Honestly, yeah. that's sideways. Lateral probably move. actually a step down. Um, <laughs> oh! I, what do you think of that, Rob? A, well, at least I'm not talking about a hiring freeze. I would rather oh, drink. just the facts. Yeah, I would true. rather uh, drink poison... Uh, I drink bleach. Uh, that comes into play in the news today. Then uh, work at the Genius Bar, especially yeah, yeah. down here. 
Uh, oh, by the way, can I just say this little thing when I was doing my whole depression train about yeah. uh, the human condition yeah. right now? Uh, the catastrophe down here has not stopped the regular snow migration of the people down here. And I, uh, I rolled into Best Buy looking for a little uh, speaker amp for my, ki- my uh, drums and my son's piano. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and I experienced it then. It was just the sea of them coming in, the sea, because they're – and if you go to the Genius Bar it, where I live, it is a sea of gray, gray heads, just uh, everybody, me, 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 I, 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 me, 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 and it's driving entitled. me Entitled. I, I would be – entitled is – it's stunning. Uh, Mac, I, I would hate working at the – I would be, ba- rather be at Micro Center than at the Genius Bar, in my humble opinion. Yes. Uh, I've only – heard bad things of the genius mm. bar both working there and from people who come from the genius bar to micro center because they had a terrible experience wow i had there no idea go. wow there wow. it is mm. yeah uh, but you've been but to the genius bar guy. rob yeah. PC. i am a pc, PC guy. guy i am not a fan of uh, apple products in general anyways look so. at him oh we have a guy that we work with guy, yeah uh, we have a, a guy that works here that's not a fan of uh, Max. Yes, I'm well, so I, proud of you. I, I am also a green bubble yeah. guy now. You're both versions. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> you said now. Were you formerly a Mac guy? Because you're Mac. <laughs> Never a Mac guy. I had an iPhone. Uh, I used to have an iPhone up to like the 6 until they just decided to take away the headphone jack and call it courageous. And then I'm like, I, I don't like this product and I now work with Google. Oh, wow. You're a Bastards. Fi guy? How, what's that? Google Fi? Uh, I do have Google Fi and yeah. the Google Pixel. Mm. All right, outside of the macroverse, uh, <laughs> you know, what in your opinion is the? Fi- you work with computers every day. Give us some computer insight as far as yeah. what's the what's the hottest. Uh, my son's into PC gaming, and, yeah. and in the gaming world, uh, Mac mm-hmm. gave it up a long time ago. It's PC, PC, PC for all these gaming systems. Mm-hmm. What is the what is the hot thing right now? He's into Fortnite. He still does little Roblox. Uh, still does a little Minecraft occasionally. What is the uh, what's the hottest thing in gaming right now? Right now, the hottest thing is actually Overwatch Two. Came out a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, brand new. Yeah. Controversial. Yeah, Overwatch was good, but controversial. Why is it controversial, it, it is Oscar? Very controversial. The purists hate Overwatch Two. You can't play Overwatch like the Triple G original anymore. It's all Overwatch Two. Oh, so they but, took the old away. They, they not, took the old to be away. fair, not many people are playing Overwatch 1 anymore, and a lot of people are playing Overwatch 2, so it's very hot well, right now. When they take they away not... the old game, yes. they're just going to play the new game. You have Correct, to. Correct, but people who've never played Overwatch ever before, are co- a lot of them are playing Overwatch 1. Uh, okay, Overwatch less nerdy. But, and as far um, as hardware it, is concerned, hard. what's out there? What's cool hardware that would uh, enhance the gaming world right now? Uh, right now, really hot are uh, racing rigs. Like full on, uh, I mean that's high end, but pedal steering wheels, that pedal, type of thing. Wheel chairs, everything like that is super hot right now. Mike, chairs okay. are hot. Well, well I know the chairs he's talking racing, about, Rob. Yeah. Racing I've chairs, seen them. Okay. simulators. It, does that apply in flight in flight simulators, flight sims it's, too? I mean, it was. It's completely different equipment. Cause and it's you, more expensive you, to do the flight sim stuff, right? Actually, I think it's. Uh, Base price is more expensive, but uh, you can get way more expensive with the racing room. I got a flight simulator chair, but it's for a passenger, and it's just extraordinarily <laughs> narrow. You're such an ass. And what I do is we I have- sit behind Mike, and he <laughs> pretends to fly the plane, and I say, can I get some peanuts back here, please? And he closes the, he closes the curtain. Yeah. A flight simulator for a passenger. <laughs> this is one of the week. He gets off one every single He's going to be real proud of himself today. I have a, I have a Sky Mall magazine that comes with it. It's great. I bought a marshmallow gun. Uh, okay, thank you. Very, very uh, exciting. And anything else new that you want to share uh, with us before we yes, uh, send so, you uh, back to uh, the Macaverse? Yes. Uh, last time I was on, I announced it, but I am currently an uncle. Hey, oh, yay. brother had a baby. A, a little, tennis pro? A little tennis pro. Yeah, a tennis pro. A little tennis pro named Evelyn. Oh, oh that's a good name. That's sweet. Fantastic. Yeah, and uh, and as far as your... Uh, they let you your around knee- the baby? Yes, they let me around the baby occasionally. <laughs> as yes. I see, as far as the condo is concerned, still haven't decorated yet? I have not really decorated much now. Right. I, you know, uh, see, that screams, that couch behind that couch, That that's just screaming for something. I, you know, I know yeah. it is. 
I've been battling with myself to go traditional like art something or something super nerdy, and I basically said I've got a, I've got a suggestion, uh, and this is a, an homage to the guy you used to work with, Pony Boy. How about an Asian nude? Oh, classy! Oh, fantastic! I will get right on that. How about then a velvet, be- a black velvet <laughs> painting of Steve Wozniak? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's fun. it. Mac, uh, take care of yourself. Yeah. You know we love you. We love checking You're in with you. Welcome anytime if you want to come you. up here. Now. So good to yeah, see you. I will, come by I'll, any any time and uh, you know bring a sedative for Pony. Okay, okay. please do. We'll do. All right. Uh, bye bye. We'll see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, we got to take, take a break. And finally, <laughs> God, finally, uh, we got some fantastic news. How good is that? <laughs> we'll be right back. Who can take the funny and sprinkle it with? Mike, Rob, Oscar, and their old friend Pony. The latest bonus show is 60 minutes full of hilarity. Carla would like to tell Rob he is a sick. Yeah. I too would. The Reese's. Yeah. Yeah. Not even a question. The Reese's. I don't like the texture of Skittles. Yeah, I love fruity options. I really do. <laughs> the Jolly Ranchers, but only the lemon. I want to spend all my days with my raisinettes. Come Raisins are, are key doing? to a fruitcake success. Every now and then you want a little bit of strange. You go with the Butterfinger. The goobers, I'd kill. I'm out. But I am concerned about the fact that I am <laughs> and marrying two chocolate products. The TMOS bonus show may taste like candy, but it helps you lose weight. Enjoy the benefits today and get a subscription at MikeOmeraShow.com. Is there anything better than texas toast not a thing Hmm. uh this uh this friday on the bonus show something we're going to try that's a little bit new an idea that i had that involves me me personally we're going to uh we're going to have uh everybody compile a list of celebrities and uh, it's called can you imitate him or her and uh, oh, we will I be challenged it. to uh, to try to do impressions. And it won't just be me. It'll be everybody. And uh, can you imitate? It won't be in my regular stable of stuff, but we'll uh, we'll throw that around. That's just part of the bonus show. And, uh, you know, the cussing will ensue. It should be a lot of fun. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. If you're a small business owner, you know how important it is to be ready for the holiday season. If you haven't started preparing for the chaos of holiday shipping... You're already behind. Yeah, Oscar. Luckily, Stamps.com has everything you need to make your life a whole lot easier. It's the 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. You get access to USPS and UPS services right from your computer. And you can protect your margins with major discounts on USPS and UPS rates, up to 86% off. All you need is a computer and a standard printer, and you're up and running in minutes. And with Stamps.com's switch and save feature... You can easily compare carriers and rates, so you'll know you're getting the best deal every time. Uh, Get ahead of the holiday chaos this year and start with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code TMOS for a special offer. That will include a four-week trial, free postage, and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in that wonderful code TMOS. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage, and uh, we begin with the uh, follow-up to the story we had yesterday on the show. Matthew Perry, uh, you know, I cry, I cry a little BS on this. He obviously doesn't want to catch uh, uh, no hands from John Wick uh, because mm. he just apologized for trashing Keanu Reeves in his new memoir, uh, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. He insulted Keanu twice in his book when talking about the deaths of River Phoenix and Chris Farley. We told you about that yesterday. He suggested it was some kind of cosmic injustice that uh, these guys were gone, but Keanu was still there. We were all puzzled by yeah. it because it just seemed weird, and he didn't give anything to back it up. Well, uh, if it was a joke, it didn't land, and if he was serious, then it just came off as mean. Uh, and Matthew knows that now because he issued a statement saying, quote, I'm actually a big fan of Keanu. I just chose a random name. My mistake. I apologize. I should have used my own name instead. I hope he gets a muffin basket from Tom Hanks because he's doing a very good job now of saying something controversial, getting everyone to talk about him, and then saying, I didn't really mean it. Also- And probably selling a lot of books. Sure. This is what your your editor is here for, right? Or your publisher be like, hey, just ahead, like you go over this. 
Yeah, but then when Rob says that, I start getting my whole conspiracy hat on and thinking the whole thing is BS just to create You're some cloud fake chasing. heat. Yeah, cloud chasing. yeah, I don't know. You never know. Trust but no you know, one. But I'm, I'm suspicious all the time. So uh, You know what I'm not suspicious of? The real deal, and that's Nick Cannon's penis. Uh, he might have another kid on the way. Alyssa Scott announced yesterday that she is expecting a child. She didn't say Nick's the dad, but Entertainment Tonight is reporting that he is. Nick and Alyssa had a son last year named Zen. Uh, he unfortunately died in infancy due to brain cancer. That's horrible. Don't wish that on anyone. Uh, this will be Nick's 11th child uh, that we know of, counting Zen, which means he will soon have 10 offspring, offspring walking and crawling on Earth. And you Ten just, kids. You just have the three, right? Uh, yeah, I have three that I'm yeah. aware of. Okay, very good, very good. That's, uh, that's my mom what I was have one right of eight, but that seems even over mm. the top. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, was that a Catholic thing? What uh, do you that think? What it was? There you go. <laughs> uh, you don't hear this name very often. Jennifer Tilly. Uh, she is here to say what she thinks others are afraid to that actors, including herself, actually like filming sex scenes. They just feel they're not supposed to. I can see that a yeah. little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, in an interview with Fox News, which is just jumps out as yeah. weird, yeah. Uh, she said, quote, it's an out-of-body experience because you're not yourself. You're the character that's in love with the other character. And so it's really almost like a free pass to make out with somebody that's not your boyfriend. I get that. Yeah. It's escapism, she says. Who doesn't love that? Uh, she also said she's happy she gets to do makeout scenes in the Chucky series because she doesn't really get those parts anymore. Being on set is a great way for her to meet people, especially lots of good-looking men. Just being honest. Yeah. I like just honesty. That sounds legit to me, doesn't it? I've always looked at her as a, a sloppy Meg Tilly. She's like yeah. you know Meg with a few wrong turns. Yeah, in an Anna Nicole way, we kind of like like yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, I just watched this week. I watched Psycho Two because I'm oh. cycling through all the Psycho movies and. Meg Tilly's in it, and she is really good in it. It's, it's good it's, actress, it's very good. Why actress. are you cycling? Because it's Psycho is one of my favorite movies, okay. and there's four of them in the canon, so oh. I like to watch them around Halloween. You time. want to pursue that line of questioning with him? <laughs> you hate Halloween, but you're watching all the Psycho movies. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So he's a complicated guy. I don't. I don't dive in. But on no that. one understands me but my woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people! Uh, people are funny, Rob. You know that, right? I do. People it's are what funny. We count on it. <laughs> a pizzeria, and I, I use the old uh, uh, pronunciation from uh, who's that actor that was in Moonstruck? Oh my Vincent God, Vincent Gardenia? Uh, no, not Vincent Gardenia. The other guy that was uh, the love interest Danny of Cher before Danny Aiello. Pizzeria, uh, a pizzeria <laughs> in uh, Texas faces backlash over a controversial Halloween pizza inspired by serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh no! Oh, mm. people, Capital Pizza in Lubbock. Uh, displayed the decoration, an inedible prop pizza topped with various fake body parts, on the counter of the restaurant earlier this month. A sign underneath the gory display reads, Jeffrey Dahmer Pizza. Ooh. The manager of the restaurant uh, said the decoration was made by a server who thought it would be funny. He said uh, she was partly inspired by the popular series Monster, the Jeffrey of Dahmer course, story yeah. uh, on Netflix. Uh, but some critics... They're always the critics, you know. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah. You say something Criticize, stupid, and then yeah. we come out and judge. Uh, they said that the uh, decoration apparently uh, is not funny. Several people have shared their feelings on the restaurant's Yelp page, calling it the idea uh, that is disgusting or urging clientele to stop patronizing the establishment. Is the, ah, is the pizza hand-tossed? <laughs> <laughs> Was that anything? Very nice. They'd like I you down there. Yeah, you fly down there. Uh, demand for World Series tickets. This has been a theme on this show for years. Uh, the rarefied air that is professional sports sure. viewership in person. World Series tickets in Philadelphia uh, driven their cost to a historic high as the average price of tickets to games at Citizens Bank Park are among the highest in Major League Baseball history. According to the Delaware News Journal, tickets to Philadelphia Phillies home games in the World Series uh, tilt with the Houston Astros have reached an average cost of more than $3,200. That is the second highest total in the history of baseball. Uh, the Cubbies were expensive, too, back in the day. Uh, Cubbies it's, it's, worth it. 
Cubs were worth it. And Cubs also smaller field, less seats. And yeah. the frequency of championships would allow for history, right? Every 107 years. Do you uh, remember we're, we're rooting against the Phillies because historical data dictates they win. It's recession time. I know, but my friend Al, Big Al Wenzel, you know, I yeah. mean, I, uh, I, I've been commiserating with him. It's a better him. story than the Astros, and I think it we're is. headed for. I think we're headed for a recession, regardless. And the Astros cheated, and yeah. uh, you know they've been there a few times. So game three has the lowest prices of any Phillies home game, with more than twenty five hundred tickets available. StubHub starting at nine hundred dollars. Game four has been the best selling home game of the series, sales having increased on StubHead. Uh, Stub Hub, rather, by 150%. So they're expensive. If you, so buy a, if you buy tickets for two, you're not going to have enough money to buy a cheese wit. <laughs> a cheese wit? But you could maybe get a cheese wit out. Maybe, if you want to head over to Gino's, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Or the other one. What's the Pats. other one? Pats. <laughs> Why do I go. know this? <laughs> because you remember how much you and I both love Philadelphia. Anyway, uh, 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 now a little something, something. A Florida Dollar General employee Dollar. has been arrested for allegedly pouring bleach into his co-worker's drink after an argument. Jerome Ellis, a D-Land Dollar General employee, uh, DeLand, Florida, was arrested on charges of poisoning food or water and tampering with evidence after video surveillance showed Ellis pouring bleach into his co-worker's can of Pepsi on Monday. Uh, Ellis and the victim reportedly got into an argument the day before, and the victim told police he believed Ellis was holding a grudge against him. You think? Yeah. Uh, the man told deputies he placed a Pepsi he was drinking on the counter before going to the restroom when he came back and took a drink from the can, it tasted like bleach or cleaning supplies. When uh, deputies arrived at the uh, store, video surveillance confirmed it. There he was, this man, uh, Jerome Ellis, pouring bleach into the Pepsi. He also repeatedly uh, wiped the can off, walked away, and then came back to spit in the drink, too. Well, that's nice. While uh, Ellis is off to jail, the victim says uh, his teeth have never been whiter. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. The yeah, victim wow. knew something was wrong when he tasted the Pepsi, and it tasted better. It tastes, oh, that's a Coca-Cola guy right there. Watch out for that. <laughs> yeah. No no Coca-Cola products served in this restaurant. Uh, we have to take a break, and the we hut. will come back. Are we at Soundtown? We are. Soundtown. All right. God, where's the show going? We'll be right back. Back. The Michael Mara Show live Saturday, April 15th, 2023 at the legendary House of Blues in New Orleans. Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. Tickets available November 1st at MichaelMaraShow.com. That's true. Uh, yeah, thank you. Five uh, days. Well, yeah, five, five days. Still tickets. Uh, November first. Uh, the latest yes, count. If you want to count, there are three hundred twenty-five tickets sold of the five hundred. Oh, you got to ah, jump that, in. That's pre-sale. Uh, that's a little that's bit of a surprise pre-sale. jump. Pre-sale. I didn't think they would go up that much. So, uh, November first, five p.m. They mm-hmm. go on sale. Yep. So uh, get them while you can. Uh, this is a busy time of year. The last thing you need is having to run out at the last minute to some overpriced drugstore just because you ran out of razors. I've got the solution for you that I love, 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 love. Harry's. They deliver right to your door. I'm waiting on my Harry's package right now. As a matter of fact, this is an interesting story. So I uh, burned through my beautiful, wonderful Harry's shave gel. And then uh, this morning, uh, because I was out of shave gel, in the shower, I did the dry shave. Just hot water and my Harry's razor. And my Harry's razor that I have been using for a very long time. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I don't think I could do that with any other no, razor. No, I love you can't, it. You can't. I am a Harry's guy for life. Uh, we all are. Amazing price point. Blades that never seem to get dull. And the best shaving cream and body wash on the planet. Right now, you can get your Harry starter set for just $3. Go to MichaelMarishow.com and get it for you. It's great. And uh, that's, by the way, where I go when I order my uh, Harry's products. I hope you'll do the same. Go through the Michael Show website. You get a free travel size body wash. The set includes a five-blade 
razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. That's a $16 value for just $3. Visit harrys.com slash TMOS. Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction rating in the shaving industry, and they're still offering a no-risk trial. Don't like your shave? No worries. They don't care because they know they're great. It's on them. No matter how busy things get, you can stay fresh with Harry's. Get your Harry's starter set today, and you'll also get a free travel size body wash. Just go to harrys.com slash TMOS. That Har- that's harrys.com slash TMOS. Sound. 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 We call this stereophonic sound. Sound town. I had great joy in my heart when I pulled this tape this morning because I was just thinking how much Mike would like it. Mm. Uh, they went to halftime on the NBA coverage on Tuesday night, and instead of giving us really analysis of the game, what happened yes. is Shaq challenged Charles Barkley to spell the word spectacular. I am so, <laughs> so glad that you have this. I love these men. Uh, This is the best thing in sports right now. This is the best thing in sports broadcasting right now. And Shaq challenges him uh, to spell spectacular. Charles Barkley, Sir Charles. $10,000 if he gets it right. 10 grand. I love this. 10 grand. This is just fun. It goes like this. Uh, Okay. I'll spot you the S and the P. No, you can't, Ernie. He was going to say you can't. 10,000. Go. Uh... (laughs) I have to write it. Oh, no, no, spell it. Have to no, write it no, you can't no, spell it. No, it's wrong. He's wrong. He's wrong. Uh, S P E C T. Jesus. I know what you're going to tell me, Jeff. Wait, he spelled it wrong. Wait, no, read what you wrote. S P E C T A C U L A R. That's it. I got that. How did I not have it? That's right, isn't it? That you look like a son. Is that right? I couldn't understand what you said. S P E C T A C U L A R. Perfect. No, okay. That Auburn <laughs> education pulled me through, America. Okay. <laughs> no word as to whether or not he got the ten grand or not, but he did oh, spell it so right. much fun. God, a, I love those guys. A fa- I really a do. Fantastic TikTok of Shaq uh, shirtless walking up to like he's working out, right? right? And then he's flexing his pecs in front of a, a young lady. And it has gone viral. I will send it to you all. It is the, oh, f- it is the funniest. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, uh, like still. also so Shaq moment. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how old Shaq is, but he doesn't look it. He's, He's got to be 50. I was going to say 50 would be my guess. Great yeah. Oh, man. Still my A-list guest. Uh, Rob, it would be the greatest accomplishment of your career if you got uh, Shaq for this Ooh. show. It would be amazing. Uh, certain songs have sort of a formulaic element to them. And I knew about one of these, but not all of these. The theme to Gilligan's Island lends itself to other lyrics. And you have to go a little bit back to the show Gilligan's Island, which was popular in the 60s. Just sit right back and exactly. you'll hear a tale, and you'll a hear, tale of a... You'll hear the beginning here, and then you'll hear other songs that fit the melody. I found this okay. fascinating. Just sit right back and you hear a A guy did this on YouTube. Trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny Turn up a little bit. There is a house in New Orleans they call the Rising Sun. And it's been the ruin of many a man. Thank God I know I'm one. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. And apparently there's plenty of them, but that's just... Oh, I'm sure like, the it. meter, the meter is there. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, and those old themes, man, you can't beat them. Meanwhile, Mike, in Billings, Montana, yes. there's a radio station called Mix 97.1. Welcome and to Mix. We play the best music that everybody can agree on, even the boss. The morning show is hosted by Josh and Nikki, and we're going <laughs> to hear from them in a second. But first, okay. the story. A listener broke in to steal a T-shirt, and he saw keys, so he took them, and he stole the station vehicle, which was wrapped in hot pink station wrap that had the logo on it. It was a station station vehicle vehicle. that is bright pink, so he left with a T-shirt and the vehicle. Montana's dumbest criminal because he decided to not only rob a radio station, but for whatever reason, he decided to steal a bright pink and white Kia belonging to Mix 97.1. We're going to notice the bright pink car gone. I'm just glad none of us were here when he was here. Oh, Nikki. That's right, Nikki. (laughs) 
<laughs> you got that right, Nikki. <laughs> you amazing bitch. <laughs> I saw I saw a, uh, a TikTok clip. I'm joking. I, I just how silly it would be. How silly it would be. I there. thought it They're was so someone vanilla. off my clearly some part of the show with zero personality. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. They, they were not pouring what's into the, it. What's the other guy's? Uh, it's you Josh know? and Nikki. So he calls her a biatch, and then he turns around and goes, Hey, Josh, maybe you wouldn't have stolen it if you'd had more balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Nikki. There's a, there was a clip I saw on TikTok of, it's just a little clip of Mark Marin doing stand-up, and it's called Why Change a Winning Formula? Mm-hmm. He says, every morning show is this. There's a host, a laughing guy, and a bemused, bewildered woman. I'm the laughing yep. guy. <laughs> I was the Proud laughing guy. I was asked. Guy. When I went to work, if I yeah. could be a laughing guy, Look, you're a uh, the laughing whole guy. Uh, the whole thing evolved over time. But originally, it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm a great laugher love, at a comedy show. I love sure. being entertained. I, yeah, yeah. I only stopped when I uh, started on this show. <laughs> We're working on this. I know. We're trying. Know. Uh, Hi, pony. Now uh, I um, laugh all the time. Mike, this is a five year old playing Mozart on a crappy little piano. And the amazing thing is, is not the fact that he's playing Mozart this well. He looks bored while he's doing it. Check this out. This kid is five. Every day of five. He's just staring off into space. All right. All right. He wants to show off. I can show off, too. Oh. Mike is going over to his studio piano. He's moving really fast. (laughs) Hey, knock it off. (laughs) All right. All right, stop. All right. Stop that, Oscar. Come on. All right. Better than I thought. Pretty good. You know what's amazing? He's only 63. Yeah, you're self taught, right? <laughs> you're self taught. Never had These a lesson. Damn talons. <laughs> Let's close with this. <laughs> You think you've got bad neighbors. I've got a few that I complain about. I know you do. Oscar, you have Mm. a pretty good neighbor. Ah, Depends. But I think a running sort of bit of friction with some people's neighbors is if a plant or tree that is planted on your ground goes over onto their land, like over a fence or something. Oh, That's like the the TV show The Watcher. There's a little of that. Oh, is there? Okay. So this guy comes out to find his neighbor, a lady, trimming the tree on her side of the fence but she's straddling the fence i'll just say this she seems nice you're trespassing you're threatening me with a weapon climbing oh, a wall shit. yeah i have you on camera and oh, i have I'm you i'm not threatening you, you, you I'm gonna go okay over and cut that. is this your plant is this your property no it's not it would be against the law to climb that wall and to oh. cut these plants I'm Okay, now you're threatening to blow up the damn place? I'm calling the cops, Diane. You damn son of a bitch! You too, Diane. Have a good day. I'm going to have my camera set, so if anything happens, I'll know exactly who did it. You you were nothing but rude and belligerent. Have a good day, ma'am. Oh, you son of a bitch! Yes, you too. Thank you. (laughs) And then she went back to work as a kindergarten teacher. (laughs) That's all I got. (laughs) That's awesome. (laughs) She sounds like a... The actress yeah. throw mama from the train? Yeah, I'm going to blow the damn that's, place up. That's the interesting, but she uh, she looks <laughs> like uh, Christy Brinkley. She's beautiful. Super pretty. A young Christy Brinkley. Ugly long, inside. Long flowing hair. Yes, red, red bathing suit. <laughs> beautiful, fit, toned. Very toned. Hey, can I blow it up? Children of the greatest generation. Uh, We got to take a powder. Uh, Don't forget, uh, Oscar gave us an update, and uh, we are going to sell those tickets for the Michael O'Mara Show live in New Orleans starting November 1st at 5 p.m., and they're going to go fast. Five days from uh, now. We didn't know. I didn't know we'd sold that many during the pre-sale, so only a couple hundred of those, uh, or maybe even less than that, are available. So please uh, get them while you can. Don't forget, uh, they open up on November 1st at 5 p.m., and uh, we'll see you there. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana, Michael Mara saying so long, everybody. I'm going to blow the damn place up. <laughs> no, don't do that. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment.